A dangerous storm is about to impact the United States with even more significant severe weather and major flooding. This includes the potential for damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes across the northern and central plains, back into the Midwest, and even into the southern plains and Ohio Valley. In today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we just came off of a day of severe weather across the central and northern plains in the Midwest, where scattered severe weather did usher into Nebraska, South Dakota, and even back into Illinois and Wisconsin. It was mostly a damaging wind threat yesterday and large hail. We didn't really see much in the way of tornadoes, but I do think today's tornado threat will be more elevated. We have another 5% tornado risk in place for parts of the Midwest, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Back along the East Coast, things have been a bit quieter for the Ohio Valley back into the Gulf Coast, but we've continued to see a pretty active weather pattern back over in the Southeast where severe weather has continued, and I would anticipate some more severe weather today. And another thing that could happen today as well is the potential for flash flooding, especially in the Midwest and the Central Plains and perhaps even back into the Southeast. And yesterday's severe weather event was pretty impactful. We had over 100 wind reports across the board and also one tornado report back over in eastern Iowa. We may have also had a tornado over in South Carolina yesterday afternoon, so we may have had two tornadoes, but generally speaking it was a fairly quiet day when it comes to the tornado threat here across the United States. But I do think today is going to be a different story. I would anticipate a few tornadoes, especially especially in the Midwest, maybe even back into the Ohio Valley. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with today, which is Friday, and we have a slight risk of severe weather in place from western Michigan back into Kansas City, where all hazards of severe weather are on the table, including the potential for a few tornadoes. We also have a large marginal threat from Minnesota back into the High Plains and also back into northwest Ohio, so be ready for damaging winds and hail today. But obviously the biggest concern for today will be damaging winds. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the storm prediction Center upgrades to an enhanced risk of severe weather for wind in the Midwest today, mainly from Chicago back into southeastern Iowa. There's also potential for large hail, but this is really not going to be the biggest concern. There's also a chance for a few tornadoes today. The Storm Prediction Center has a 5% tornado risk in place, which does include Chicago, includes very far southern Wisconsin and southeastern Iowa. This includes about 10 million people today. The 2% tornado risk also includes Kalamazoo and then back over towards Kansas City, which is approximately 6.5 million people today. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings. I do think that we'll be live later today covering this event, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live. It could be a busy day today with tornadoes, especially since we're talking about a line of thunderstorms, and then on top of that, obviously, a damaging wind threat. On Saturday, the threat of severe weather will expand further to the south and east, where we have a slight risk of severe weather in place for Michigan, northeast Indiana, and northwest Ohio, and then the marginal threat goes from the upper peninsula of Michigan back into Texas, also including parts of Kentucky, where damaging winds and hail will be the biggest concern across the board. There's also a chance for a couple of tornadoes, mainly across Michigan, eastern Indiana, and northwest Ohio. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we got a 5% tornado risk somewhere, and also if this 2% risk were to grow, would not be surprised by that at all either. Now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather, beginning with what's happening today in the Midwest. We are expecting some storms to be out there during the morning hours, but really the biggest event will start around 2 to 3 o'clock. I think we're going to be watching this corridor right around 2 to 3 o'clock for the initiation of storms around a little remnant mesoscale convective vortex, basically a localized area of spin and vorticity that's going to be in place in southeastern Iowa, where there will be a potential initially for damaging winds, but the tornado threat will also be more elevated with anything that's a bit more discreet. By 4 o'clock or so, this is going to start to get a little bit more linear as it moves across eastern Iowa and eventually into northern Illinois. Biggest concern, again, being damaging winds, but embedded tornadoes in this line of thunderstorms is likely even around 4 to 5 o'clock. And then by 6 to 7 o'clock this evening, these storms are going to be pushing into far southern Wisconsin and northern and western Illinois with damaging winds upwards of 70 to 75 miles per hour and a couple of tornadoes being possible. By 8 o'clock, I think the storms will be right in the Chicago area and then by 9 to 10 o'clock, the storms are moving over the Great Lakes and eventually moving into western Michigan where they may stay alive. If they don't though, they'll just fall apart with gusty winds and a very low tornado risk. And on top of the severe weather risk, there is a potential for significant flooding today in the Midwest, especially after all the rain that we saw yesterday. I would anticipate a widespread area picking up one to three inches of rain, but we should have a lot of places, especially in northern Illinois and eastern Iowa, that pick up three to six inches of rainfall, maybe even some isolated locations as high as seven inches of rainfall today. So definitely be taking it slow on the roadways. Turn around, don't drown. If you're under a flash flood warning and you're in a low-lying area, you may have to get to higher ground. And further down to the south, we do actually have a risk of severe weather today. It's very low, though, across the high plains, but I do want to touch on tomorrow 
Tomorrow's Risk. We're going to have a Remnant Mesoscale Convective Vortex again back over in the Texas Panhandle, and we are expecting a lot of rain to fall on Saturday across Oklahoma and Texas with very slow-moving showers and thunderstorms. So the flash flooding risk will be elevated across Oklahoma and Texas. There is a large, slight risk of severe weather in place for excessive rainfall in both Oklahoma and Texas. And on top of that, there will be a threat of damaging winds and isolated hail out of these storms during the afternoon and early evening hours. Right now, the HRRR model is painting a large area to see anywhere from a tenth of an inch of rain all the way up to a few inches of rain. We'll likely have some localized spots, though, that pick up as much as three to seven inches of rainfall. Even some localized areas could see higher than seven inches of rainfall over the next 48 hours. And unfortunately, these areas have been hard hit by rainfall recently as well. So we definitely need to make sure that we're staying weather aware in low lying areas. And then for Saturday, our threat of severe weather will continue across the Ohio Valley and the Midwest. This is what it looks like across the Midwest and the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley on Saturday. By around two to three o'clock, we're expecting a bunch of storms to fire up from central Indiana back into eastern Michigan. Biggest concern out of these storms should be damaging winds and hail. But if we can see some more discrete supercellular action, there is a chance for a couple of tornadoes. But generally speaking, should be mostly wind and hail. Most of the storms will die down by around eight to nine o'clock. So this will be mostly a early to mid afternoon event, maybe into the very early evening hours on Saturday. And then things quiet down. And then on Sunday, a few more storms are possible in the lower Midwest with isolated hail and wind being a possibility and maybe a low tornado risk. Back over in the Ohio Valley, basically the same story. A slew of storms will fire up from Detroit all the way back over towards Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right around 4 to 5 o'clock will be the peak intensity of damaging winds and hail. Low tornado risk across the board. And then as we go into Sunday morning, we'll be really pretty much dry for most of this area. But a few more storms will try to fire off during the early to mid-afternoon hours on Sunday with hail, wind, and a low conditional tornado risk being a possibility back over near St. Louis and southern Missouri, which is something we'll be keeping an eye on. There is a chance of a live stream on Saturday and Sunday as well so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if we do go live and obviously there has been a lot of rainfall recently and this is the weather prediction center's forecast in terms of a general outlook for rainfall between now all the way through thursday of next week and anywhere in the red and pink and purple that is an area that we're basically expecting one to three inches of rainfall at the minimum and that is pretty much all of the midwest even in the southern and central plains so unfortunately flooding will continue to be a concern look at florida by the way we might have some areas even in widespread areas seeing as much as four to eight inches of rain just over the next seven days so definitely be ready for some localized flooding especially if you are in low-lying areas now this is the future radar beyond just this weekend as we go into sunday we are expecting a little bit more severe weather as i mentioned before it'll be mainly across areas in the ohio valley and back into the southern plains just an isolated threat of severe weather i don't think we're going to see anything too organized maybe something back over here in missouri but generally speaking it's a pretty low chance and a conditional risk at this time on monday we're really watching for just more isolated to scattered severe weather most of which will be in the high plains on monday by tuesday we're watching for more severe weather mainly from the midwest also back into the central plains not expecting anything very organized as of right now it looks just to be like isolated to scattered severe weather kind of what we've seen really over the last few days by wednesday and thursday looks like the same story just isolated to scattered severe weather and then keep an eye on the tropics by the end of the week we may have a little tropical system try to develop back over in the northeastern gulf around the mid to late week and weekend that is something we're keeping an eye on the gfs model not really hinting at much of anything right now but i do think there's a low chance of a tropical storm developing there around the later half of next week and then eventually by next weekend we really don't know what's going to be happening but in our next video we are going to go way more detail about the long-term forecast across the entire lower 48 including what the temperature trends look like the flooding potential as well in addition to where the most significant severe weather is going to lie for the next few weeks especially throughout the middle and end of july and as always thank you all so much for watching today's forecast if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below we'll likely be live later today with severe weather coverage so click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live i think a video is going to happen again tomorrow morning as well and then a live stream is possible again on both saturday and sunday so stay tuned we'll see you guys all again in the live stream or our next forecast